All right, we take a look at the safeties in this year's draft class, and both of you have the same three players in the top three. Mel, though, your top safety, Antoine Winfield Jr. He led Minnesota with seven picks. Todd likes Alabama's Xavier McKinney. Here is Xavier with a question. What's up, Mel and Todd? This is Xavier McKinney, and I got a question for the both of you. So I've watched a lot of safeties in this year's draft. And so for Mel, I just want to ask, how am I not the number one safety in this year's draft based solely off of film, nothing else, just film? And for Todd, I want you to please explain to Mel why I am the number one safety in the draft based solely off of film, because film never lies, ever. This man doesn't it's need an agent, question. Mel. It's a, it's great, a great question, question Xavier. He's the best pure safety. Antoine Winfield is a slot corner slash safety with more versatility. Ran 4-4-5. Xavier ran 4-6-3. But as a pure safety, Xavier McKinney is number one on my board. But as the versatile guy who can do a lot of things and wear a lot of hats, it would be Antoine Winfield Jr. Both are going to go in that 20 to 25, 20 to 28 range. I'll tell you what, Mel. You were on Winfield earlier, and I, and I admit it. I hadn't watched the, the Minnesota tape, but my goodness, he's good. That Penn State game, like, that first drive, the ability to get off of a block and then make the tackle and then turn, run, and go up and get the ball. I mean, he's special. There's no question. But he's not McKinney. I mean, McKinney, to me, is, is like the difference maker in terms of the safety position this year. Now, Grant Delpit coming in from LSU was, I thought, was going to be a top 10, top 15 pick. But these other two players, Winfield, I agree with you, but also McKinney have outplayed him. And I think they're going to both be somewhere in that top 20. I think Delpit's going to be a little bit later in the first, if not early in the second round. Mel, let me ask you this. Where's the best fit for McKinney? I think you look at a team's like anywhere in that Jacksonville area. You look at certainly New England, Miami, anybody like that for Xavier McKinney. You guys like say, when you look at the tackle production, he gets sacks, intercepts passes. He is a heck of a football player. Four six three. He plays a lot faster than that. But I think Winfield is a guy with versatility and certainly great bloodlines with his father. But I look at Xavier McKinney as a guy who could be. Certainly a Pro Bowl caliber player. Will be a first-round pick the way it looks right now. Uh, I think people now, when you go back, and as Xavier said, the tape does not lie. He was a heck of a football player. And like I said, in that, I'd say 17 <laughs> to maybe late first-round range. Some I like a little more numbers. There's some that think I he's one of the best the 10 to 15 players in the draft. I love the fact that he's watched the tape, Mel, and he's saying mm -hmm. to you, hey, I, I love Winfield. That's great, but I'm better. I love that. Like he, th That's mm -hmm. what he brings. If you talk to anyone at Alabama – if you sit down with Nick Saban, he's going to tell you, like, the leader of the defense in a, a really good mm -hmm. defense and a defense that we've had so much pride in, this is the, the alpha dog of our defense. And McKinney, he, he has no, no qualms about it. I, I love that fact. And you need that from a safety. You need a tackler and you need a leader, and he's both things. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, fellas. What do you say? Tape, tape never lies? Tape never lies. Sure High in the sky never lies. High in the sky never <laughs> lies. Well said, Mel. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.